Yelarigu Namaskara. Very warm greetings to one and all present here. Today, my teammates and I will be briefing all of you on how we can make Nama Bengaluru a dream city through the eyes of three women of three different age categories. As a little girl who will become a teenager by 2040, I dream of a city where the youth can blossom. A center of global education that attracts students from all over the world. A place where mental health is prioritized and depression and suicide rates are low with inclusive facilities in every public building. A place where we can be our authentic selves and not be discriminated for it. How do we make Anjali's dream come true? By bringing in more of the reputed institutions like All India Institute of Medical Science, International Institute of Sports Management, we can make Bengaluru an epitome of education. By introducing more community spaces that foster a sense of belonging and provide everybody with a safe space to express themselves, we would uplift and protect the mental health of all the citizens. By empowering people to think beyond their biotic identities, we would be eradicating discrimination right at its roots. And by building more inclusive facilities, like separate bathrooms for the specially abled and gender non-conforming people, along with ramp like facilities in every public space, Bengaluru would become a truly inclusive city to live in. As a teenager who will become a middle-aged woman by 2040, I want a city where technology and humanity work hand in hand. A city where AI is used to reduce crime rates and improve citizen welfare. Bengaluru should become a hub in which the people who have grown in it stay and contribute to its development. A city where international opportunities are provided without having to leave it. And how do we make Shraddha's dream come true? To lower our crime rates, we can use government-controlled drones that can monitor our citizens in real time. By using traffic prediction systems and other such technology, we can contribute more to our citizen welfare and providing more job opportunities and a better standard of living, we can make the youth stay back in Bangalore and contribute to its economy. And by improving foreign relations, we can have endless international opportunities right here in our city. As a middle-aged woman who will become a senior citizen by 2040, I want a city where old flowers don't fit, as in, Old people don't fade away, with affordable yet high quality medical facilities within reach. I want a city that gives me a stable income even after my retirement, with entrepreneurial opportunities and flexible employment programs for the senior citizens. In such a digital world, I would hate to be lost when it comes to using gadgets. And so, I would want a city that gives me elderly friendly apps that would make my life simpler and better. And how do we achieve Sasha's dream? For senior citizens to access quality medical facilities, we would have to increase the number of doctors and provide regulated health checkups. To give them a stable income post-retirement, we would have to educate them on low-effort startups and implement post-retirement schemes. We also would have to create simple yet effective apps that would better the lives of the elderly. These three women have such different visions for their city. Yet there is one dream that they share, and that is to have a cleaner, greener, pollution-free city. A city where the trees stand as tall as the skyscrapers. When all development is moving forward, we would want one thing to go back to the past, and that is Bengaluru being the garden city it was in the 1970s. We want a plastic-free city with clean air negative of any carbon footprint. We want a city where wildlife is protected ubiquitously and energy is completely green sourced. And how do we make this dream come true? Making Bengaluru a plethora of greenery would make it calm and serene like it was in the 70s. Green factories that use sustainable manufacturing and incentivization of green vehicles would make the air as pure as the heart of Bengaluru. Removal of harmful GSM towers would bring long forgotten species like the sparrows come flying back. But for all of this to come true, environmental education has to be the foremost priority of any educational institute. I'm sure most of you 
you right now are questioning the plausibility of all these wishes. But we have proof. Here is the gross domestic product of Karnataka from 2013 to 2023. We have grown from 8.1 lakh crore to 25.7 lakh crore in the span of just 10 years. This shows the impeccable potential of our government to make Bengaluru a dream city. Even better, a city where every single dream comes true.